Hi everyone, this is Neil Wright, a tear consultant, audiologist and director of ClearWax. Thank you for joining me in my latest video using the Waxscape. So a very interesting case of a patient who has a stenotic ear canal. And when we say stenotic, we mean um, a narrowing and it's quite a significant narrowing, which is a lot deeper in this patient's ear canal. I would say it's the, the middle third and the inner third. Um, at present, I'm using our medium-sized specker to clear the entrance of the ear canal. So just to the right where you can see those hairs protruding outwards, that's your first bend. And it is quite a narrow bend as well and quite a, a bendy entrance to the ear canal. So I'm using the specular to really dilate open the ear canal. And it's just some wax there just beyond the hair. So we're just going to remove this first. So this wax is quite soft. And there's a bit of keratin just below. So it's coming away in small pieces and again just dilating dilating the ear canal widening it was going to get this wax in focus which is more lateral so the flesh to the left that's the second bend so that's where you get this meander in the outer third of the ear canal so this remaining wax is halfway and beyond now so i'm just going to remove this section here and I can sense there's just uh, not much space in there. So I'm going to, in a moment, revert to our smaller specular, which is a, got a, it's a really small specular. It's designed for, just for these cases, stenotic ear canals and paediatric ears. You can see I'm able to insert it further. And we're going to remove this. Now it's quite a squeeze. So it comes away in two lumps, I believe. So this is the first lump. I can just barely get the suction tube into the ear canal. So the suction tube has got an outer diameter of around two millimeters. So this is really deep. You can just see the eardrum uh, at about two o'clock. It's going to get this wax in focus. So there's not much wriggle room there. And you can see as I'm bringing this wax out, it's, it's compressing against the side walls managed to get it through that narrowing, going to retrieve this out of the ear. Now, what was interesting, we couldn't visualize this patient's entire eardrum because given how narrow the ear canal is, so we're going to push these hairs out of the way. So that light blue tinge in the distance, that's the patient's eardrum. The hammer bone is just visible, uh, probably set, just left of center of screen. I did even use the endoscope to try and visualize this patient's full eardrum, which wasn't possible, but they could hear significantly better. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care, keep well, and speak soon. Bye.